From Upper Michigan Source, this is your Sports On Demand for Saturday, October 12th. I'm Mike Ludlum. Northern Michigan and Michigan Tech have played several down-to-the-wire football games in the past five years in the battle for the Miners' Cup. A couple of them have gone down to the very last play. So let's see what happened at Sherman Field in this particular edition. And new head coach Kyle Nystrom trying to stop Tech's nine-game winning streak. First quarter... Jacob Wenslet catches the pass from Will Ark, 30 yards on the touchdown, 7-0, black and gold. To the second quarter, 10-6 Huskies, Ryan Johnson for Northern. To Ravon Johnson, 27 yards, Wildcats lead 13-10 at the half. To the third quarter, a Tech flea flicker, Emmett Bowler back to Will Ark. And he's going to send one toward Jacob Wenslick. Makes the catch. 35 yards for this touchdown. Tech back in front, 17-13. Still in the third. Northern facing a third and 14 on its 25-yard line. Tech blitzes. Ryan Johnson dumps the ball to Tyshawn King. And he has all kinds of running room. Good block by Peter Krupa. Cuts back at midfield. 75 yards for the touchdown. He also had 114 yards rushing. 20-17. Wildcats. Fourth quarter, Huskies head coach Steve Olson concerned, but Will Ark shined at the right time. Ark sees single coverage to the far side, 10-yard pass to Ben Hartley for the score. Huskies back in front, and Michigan Tech keeps the Miners Cup for the 10th straight season with a 24-20 win over NMU. Tech won despite losing five fumbles. Huskies quarterback Will Ark was 21 for 30 passing, 347 yards and three touchdowns. On the scoreboard, Finlandia was not able to score, losing 44-0 to Kalamazoo College. And Central Michigan now has four victories on the year, 42-28 over New Mexico State. Let's go to eight-player football, Brimley against Superior Central. First quarter, Superior Central gets a nice run from Zach Englund down to the one-yard line before they whistle him down. Two plays later, Captain Jack Rondo scores. Cougars still trail, but they're on the board at 14 to eight. Bad news though for Superior Central on the dreaded ensuing kickoff, Brimley's Mason Harris will find a wall along the sideline. Nobody jumped out from the sideline. That's a good point to mention. And he's gonna go about 80 yards or so for the touchdown. And the Bays would have a 20 to eight lead. But Superior Central came back. Zach Anglin to Lucas Canerva, 13 yards on this touchdown. Cougars were within four, but Grimley went home with the victory, 48 to 36. One other eight player football game, number one North Central in the UP pool, blanked Newberry 54 to nothing. College hockey, Michigan State and NMU. Spartans looking for the sweep. Wildcats wearing their new gold third sweaters. First period, power play. Ty Reedman, Griffin Lochran, 1-0 NMU. Next, the Spartans will be streaking toward the net. A three on two, Mitchell Lewandowski drops it back for Tommy Apap and oomph. He runs into NMU goalie John Hawthorne. No, Sparty, you're not getting a goal out of that one. It was waved off. Then late in the third up, 1-0, Vincent DeMay with the floater that Drew DeRitter just flat out did not catch. 2-0 Wildcats, that's your final. Hawthorne with the shutout and some kind words for his teammates after the contest. You know what, I think like I was seeing the puck okay, I was feeling it pretty good, but I think the guys also like, you know, they gave up 16 shots and, and they, they were, did a really good job clearing rebounds, keeping things to the outside for the most part. So, you know, like every shutout is a, is a, is a team shutout, right? And I think tonight is a pretty good example of that. I can't argue with that at all. So 16 saves for Hawthorne. Wildcats are on the road next week, traveling to Boston University. To the scoreboard where Michigan Tech was swept by Alaska. This one, two to one. Denver able to get two wins at Lake Superior State. They sure had a fight for them. Second ranked Denver four, LSSU three. In the NHL, it was Toronto five and Detroit two. Let's head to the PEIF pool where NMU was hosting Finley for the second straight day. This is the women's 500-yard freestyle. That's 20 laps in the 25-yard pool. 
NMU freshman Maria Arakelian will touch the wall in 5 minutes 12.9 seconds. She won the 1000 freestyle. NMU won this one 199 to 92. Now for the men, it's the 100 freestyle, and that means very good news because Lajos Budai is still pretty darn good. He would win this race in a time of 47.78 seconds. He was also first in the 50 free and participated on two winning relays. The Wildcat men also defeated the Oilers 190 to 91. A very good day for the college volleyball teams in the UP. Michigan Tech defeated Ashland three sets to one. Olivia Gormley had 23 kills for the Huskies. NMU blanks Wayne State 3 0. Lizzie Stark led the Wildcats with 15. And detour Sarah Bailey had nine kills and a 615 hitting percentage as Lake Superior State blanked Purdue Northwest 3 0. Turning to men's college soccer, Northern scored twice. The bad news is Parkside scored four, and the Rangers won 4-2. Also in soccer, senior day up at Finlandia. The Lions men defeated Emmaus Bible 3-0, and a big win for the women. Kirsten Lesperance had three goals and five assists. She's one of those seniors, and the Lions women defeated Mount Mary, yes, that's right, 11-0. And in GLIAC tennis, Grand Valley State edged Michigan Tech 4-3, and Ferris State took care of Lake Superior State by the count of 5-2.